Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you a small Dollar Tree haul that I did. Um, it's not as big as I normally have, but I thought I'd show you guys anyways because um, there's just so much beauty products there that are that could be good or maybe good, and I can give you guys an update later on my Insta stories or Instagram period, or maybe even an updated video. I'm not sure how I want to do that just yet. Uh, maybe let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, so this video is not going to be very long, but um, I thought I would show you guys anyway. Um, so the first thing I actually have gotten before, it is a shadow switching sponge. So this allows you to um, be able to switch your shadows in between. You can give it like TJ Maxx and stuff too, but um, these are just like the same. Like all they are is like, a, like one of these kind of sponges. And it's just in here. And it's the same as the one that TJ Maxx, and this is only a dollar versus like four. You can buy four of them, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, and then what I do to clean it is I just take my brush shampoo and I just squeeze it out like this and then let it dry overnight and it's all good to go again the next day. Um, I like the Dollar Store one. I actually already have one, but I needed another one just so I can rotate because sometimes I don't always clean my stuff right away, which is very common for a lot of people. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, the next thing I got are these Sassy and Chic Mini Tweezers. So I thought I'd try them um, for a dollar. There's four mini ones in there. There is a pointed, or three mini ones, I'm sorry. A pointed tip, a slanted tip, and a flat edge. Uh, let's open these up. Um, so this one says the pointed tip, which is this black one here. It says to use it for ingrown hairs. They're not, they're not terrible. I wish I had like a hair to pull out, but I don't. Um, they're more flimsy than like the ones you get. Like the tweezer man is obviously the best tweezers ever. But I figured I could throw these in my purse in case I have an emergency. And this is great. So the pointed one here says it's for ingrown hairs or whatever you want really. Um, the slanted tip. This one's slanted. Is for brow hairs, which I can totally see. Yep, I see. I mean, they are very flimsy, but I feel like they would still work. I will give you guys an update. And then this one, the flat edge here, which I have these in Tweezer Man, the exact same ones, same color, is for thick hairs. Actually, I'm not really quite sure what that means, but I feel like I'm going to try them. And, you know, even if they're in my purse for an emergency, they're really cute and small. And, you know, you can even use them for your nails. I feel like you use them for whatever you want. So, again, these are the tips of them and I think they're going to be pretty decent for a dollar for three of them. Give you guys a quick update. I'm going to insert this in the video um, that these tweezers work. I had some thicker hairs I wanted to pull and I did go and try them for you guys just so you would know and they work. They're great for traveling and they're whoops, also great for emergencies and I think they're pretty good. Obviously Tweezer Man is my favorite but these are really good for a dollar, three for a dollar. You can't beat that so go pick these up. Next products I got are something I've seen that people rave about um, on YouTube, Instagram, wherever. They're the Wet n Wild brushes here. Um, they had four of them. I bought an eyeliner one too, but I don't know where it is right now. So these ones I got to do. Um, large eyeshadow. Actually, it's kind of weird, but this is what the large eyeshadow looks like. I'm just going to pull this one out so I can feel it. I've never actually used their brushes before. So this is a new experience for me. Wow, it's actually really soft. You can kind of see. How they're like a, whoa. They're like a pink. There's a white band. And they're very soft. Wow. That's soft. That's nice. There's that one. That's a large eyeshadow. And then I got a contour brush. Oh boy, got it stuck, got it stuck. Okay, I got a contour brush, which there's like a hair. Oh, I got it, okay. Like, so you can really get in there and get your contour in. I like this. It's the same, like, white with the pinky on it. I really like that. That's cute. Um, and then this is a small eyeshadow. So I had the large one. Now this is the small one. They seem pretty sturdy, too. I really like it really soft. I really like them. Um, and then the last one I got is the large concealer. 
Wow, that's really big for a concealer brush. I don't think I've ever had one that big before. But you can really get in there, man. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. Let me go see if I can find my eyeliner one. Because I did buy one. I can't find it, though. I guess I found it. I have a Dollar Tree bag. I'm surprised they got more Dollar Tree. Um, I did buy another contour because I figured I could use one for blush, too. So I bought two of those. So I can use one for blush, one for contour, bronzer, whatever I'm going to use it for. Um, and then I bought um, a bent liner brush. Which I've actually never tried one of these before. So I'm a little excited about it. I don't know if you guys have tried these before. Let me know in the comments. Whoops, I just pulled the tip off. Not the actual brush. But it looks like it could get really in there for the eyeliner. And I really want to try it. It's really cool. I like it. And it even has like a little cover on it so you don't ruin it in your makeup bag. Which is awesome. And then this is... Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I dig it too. I got two because I feel like I'm really going to like it and I'll regret only buying one. And they were only a dollar. Um, and then I did buy another small eyeshadow brush because sometimes I feel like I can't... I feel like you can use this for highlighter. Like, why not? I didn't. They didn't have another brush for the, you know, my, the highlight brush that goes with this set. So I figured for now I could just use the um, some, another small eyeshadow brush. You can really get in there like I did with the Ofra I used today. And it'd be great. Um, and then I got some dollar store blemish patches. I do have Starface. I've used ones from TJ Maxx Marshalls. I have used Hero Cosmetics. And I've also used Tony Moly. I think they're all great. Um, I've never used the dollar store ones though. Um, these are in the shape of stars. They're kind of like Starface. If you can see that. They look like this right here. I think they're cute. Um, I figured I'd try them for a dollar. There is 36 in each one. That's pretty great. They have small and big because you know we'll get small and big blemishes. Um, and then these are the same thing. There's 36 of them but these are hearts like this right here. So they're cute little hearts. I mean if they don't work for a dollar I'm not going to be totally mad about it but I would love for them to work because then but I bought all they had. Like, they only had these two. So, I'm kind of grateful they even had two. But then I went to a dollar store the next day, and they had these ones. These only have 24 for a dollar. Um, that's what these look like. I didn't even... I made sure they were in here, but I didn't see what shape they were. Let's see. Whoops. Oh, cool. They're sealed, too. These are just circles. Kind of like the Hero Cosmetics ones, or the ones from TJ Maxx Marshalls. Um, so I'm excited to try these. I mean, Hero Cosmetics, they're, they're like $18 for 36 of them. So I'm going to be great for the dollar store ones. But even if not, the Starface ones aren't that bad. I think they're $15. Um, but I like these because they're clear on the skin. And you can wear these out versus the Starface ones and the Tony Moly. I have the Minion ones. Um, the Starface ones are yellow and the Tony Moly ones are pink. So I tend to wear those at night um, when I can go into bed. It doesn't matter what shape or color I'm wearing. Or if it's under my mask right now because I'm still wearing a mask. Um, but other than that, I like using the clear ones because um, they're great and you, people really don't even notice them. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'm really excited to try all of it. The blemish stickers, the brushes, everything. I'm excited. I obviously have tried this. I want to try the tweezers. Super excited. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Beauty Guru Rachel. And don't forget to comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Any video ideas, anything. Of course, I accept criticism. I accept comments. Whatever you want to give to me. I'll even message you back on Instagram. Just let me know. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. So you know when I will post, you'll get the notification. That is how YouTube is working right now. As far as I know, um, sometimes people aren't seeing my videos. Which is kind of sad because, you know, just the way it works. Even though you're following me, you subscribe. Sometimes you don't get them because, you know you don't ring the bell but that's fine um that's just how it is so if you want to make sure you see all my videos make sure you ring the bell um but other than that i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are i love you